One, two, three. You want your butt by shorts! Hello and welcome to Recreation Park here at Darnell and Andrew are back doing that. Two weeks ago we're yep. here at the big celebrations and we're back again hopefully to see an yeah. Ayrshire side move on. Yeah, well, I was gutted to miss that game a couple of weeks ago but hopefully see some pretty wild celebrations again today. Well, it's a big one because it's a, a move up to the, the Lowland League. It's a it's, massive tie today. When Huge. You think, when you think about it, I mean, the movement for a team like Darvel over the years have been sort of languishing in the, the kind of lower regions for a while and all of a sudden here they are. A massive rise for them over the last few years. This would be huge to see them get promoted into the Lowland League today. And they're not playing any old team. Well, it, it, it's just as huge for Trenent as well. It's not like we shouldn't underestimate what this means to them. I'm looking forward to this game because it's, it's, it's a one-off. Mm -hmm. We won't see something like this again. It's yep. historic. Yep. For the both both leagues, for for the East League and for the West League, for these teams, and to move up into that level is a big, big move. Yeah, well, both teams are here for a reason. It's because they they won their respective leagues. They deserve to be here, and it will be very interesting to see what kind of performance they both put in today. I wonder what colour the fireworks will be today. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Let's go and see this game.
Congratulations. Thank Must you. be buzzing with that. Aye, good. I think the boys deserved it. Yeah. Thought we put a lot into the game, executed the game plan really well. Mm -hmm. um, took a lot of hard work, a lot, a lot of hard work, especially in the heat. Mm -hmm. How long the season's been on? I was just saying to the guy over there, I was interviewing me. It's been, that's been pretty much a year of training and playing. So mm -hmm. I don't know. A lot of the boys, myself included, my legs fell off the last 20 minutes, putting so much into the game. Um, but I thought we were brilliant. Deserved it, I think. You could see that that relief paying off when the second goal went in. Aye, it's a massive relief because obviously everyone's written us off. Mm -hmm. Everyone coming into this game today written us off. We were the only, but everyone in that changing room was the only people that thought we were going to win this game today. That's the only people that thought we were going to win the game. But we knew we had a belief, we had that team spirit that it's a 50-50 game. You can't write anybody off. We won our league, mm -hmm. so Davila are a great team, like a great setup. They're well drilled. They've got some fantastic players. So it's a brilliant, brilliant result for us, and I'm glad, I'm proud of all the boys. Yeah. A lot to look forward to into next season then? Yeah, well, season's not even over yet, we've got a semi-final on Tuesday, with a potential final next Sunday. So we've still got another week of playing, man. Um, I just want a holiday. <laughs> My legs are done, I'm done, I'm mentally drained, so oh, I'm absolutely delighted we can celebrate tonight. Yeah, brilliant, all the best, thanks for talking to us. Thank you, mate, cheers, cheers. Bro, boys, yeah. See ya. Ah, you're talking to one very, very happy old Trinent supporter. I'm a volunteer with Trinent and I help them in the pitch and whatnot. And the match day committee, and I'll tell you what, what the committee's done and the team's done this year. And we're not finished yet. We've got another two games to go. And it could be another, uh, another cup for us, this League Cup. But I enjoyed the game today. Superb. The pitch was good. Referee was a wee bit in our favour in the first half, but I think they went to use the second half. And, uh, well, there were two great goals. There were two great goals and we, we stuck in there. They ladies, they were up for it this morning. They were really up for it. And uh, I'm delighted for them. I'm delighted for the committee. I'm delighted for the week to the training. So you must be buzzing with that today, guys. <laughs> buzzing, like. Understatement, uh, mate. Understatement. Yeah. Written off, I think we were. Written off, I think. Aye, I think we were. I think, I, think, I think the rest of Scotland League thought Aye. they're only for the East. They're not going to be good enough for Darvall. Came here. I Proved think them all wrong, eh? Game was, was not the greatest game on earth, but they proved them wrong. We took our chances. They didn't. Eh? And I mean, for me, myself, been at this club for a long time, and this is the biggest moment for me. Brilliant. Winning the league was great. This was better. Brilliant. You could see the celebrations when that second goal went in. It was, <laughs> you could see the relief on uh, everyone. It, it, well, it we was, had chances, eh? Uh, we had loads of chances. Yeah. Never buried them when that so, second one went in. Oh, yeah. the relief. Oh, it, was, it was just relief, relief I think. Yeah, but brilliant. You'll be looking forward into next season now that you've got up. Oh, aye, aye. Aye. Yes, definitely. I mean, that's what the club's been aye. trying to achieve, getting in the Lowland League and then yeah. we've had to do it which I don't think is fair, nah, having to go through a playoff three up, where it should down, be, eh? like you say, it's three up, nah. three down, it should be, so, but we have done it, we are yep. there, next season's got to be a big season for us. Well, Andrew, there we are, didn't expect that for the, the Ayrshire team, but yeah. Trident to me, were, they deserve to win, I think. They looked a quality side, I thought, they were committed in the tackle, you could see their legs were going late on, but they still, they kept running, they kept fighting for it. They got that second goal that they'd been pushing for, and honestly, they look good for a 2-0 win. They look fit. They look. It's a good game plan. Yep. They harassed and harassed Darvel. They yep. didn't let Darvel settle down at all. And yet, Darvel had some chances. Second half especially. First half, I think Darvel had a lot of the ball in the opposition third without really doing much with it. But second half, they managed to turn that into chances, and then 
weren't able to stick them away. Then the breakaway, the yeah. killer goal. Yeah. And you could just see the faces, the fans here. That was yeah. it for them. You could, likewise, you could see the relief and the excitement in the Trinent. You know that that was clearly a huge goal for them. They'd they'd been worried by by the Darvel pressure and then getting that second goal to kill it off. It's been a wonderful journey for both teams yeah. to reach this sort of level mm -hmm. and get to that kind of level because it's quite exciting when you think about it now. These teams are getting a chance to play up at a different level. Yeah, they're, they're moving up, they're moving beyond this uh, and it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me at all to see Darvel back up here competing for this again in the future, so you never yeah. know. And good luck to Trinent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I say, they look good today, so you never know, they might go up there and, and do well. Do well. Well, Eddie, Andrew, the whole crew are here at Darvel, probably the last game of the season. We hope to see you next season. But uh, it's a shame the Ayrshire team didn't break through into the Lowland League, but well done to Trinent. Yep. So until the next time, yep. see you soon. Yeah.